So today we're gonna to talk about the NAVAC NR7 recovery machine. This is the newest in the family of recovery machines from NAVAC. I really like options. A lot of technicians uh, were asking for a smaller, lighter recovery machine, and this fits the bill. It's an A2L compatible recovery machine in a small and compact case, as you can see, holding it pretty easily. We're gonna unbox this, and we're gonna show you what's inside, as well as just talk a little bit about how to best connect this with some of NAVAC's other industry leading tools. All right, so we're gonna be unboxing this NR7 recovery machine from NAVAC. You'll notice that not only is it compact and light, but it is also swift, which is something you want in a recovery machine. So let's take this out of the box and show you what's inside. Oh, actually, before I even do that, I just wanna show you um, some of the other uh, items that are recommended for this. So obviously a scale is recommended. We're not gonna show that in this video, but whenever you're recovering, you do need a scale. You're gonna have uh, hoses, and ideally larger hoses uh, are helpful in this sort of application. And here it shows their new Rapid Y, which also helps you optimize the recovery process. Again, the first thing you notice about this recovery machine is how light it is. It's even just pulling it out of the box. So you're gonna notice these glycol filled gauges, which reduce flutter. It has the simple one knob, one dial operation. And as you can see, you have clothes. You can increase your speed as you go, and then all the way down here is where you have your purge mode. It also has these little hooks here, which are designed for the strap. It's a really simple design. I actually saw this first uh, at AHR, and then again here at our symposium, and it has the really high quality condenser coil with multiple rows to make sure that it cools the refrigerant actively, which is one of the biggest things. It has a really large fan and a lot of room for airflow through the body, which is huge in terms of a recovery machine because you do need to be able to cool that refrigerant before you put it into the tank if you wanna reduce the pressures and be able to move a lot of refrigerant. And as we've mentioned, this is an A2L compatible unit, which means that it's prepared for the new refrigerants that are coming out. All right, so now we're gonna show this connecting to some of the NAVAC hoses and how you would connect this to a system. Now one item that I really like is their hose holder, which is really cool because you don't want your hoses to get dirty or to get contaminated in between uses, especially with POE oil. And so you can see here, it has multiple different connection points. It has a 3 8 connection, two quarter inch, and a half inch. So this can be used with many different types of hoses, and then it easily hangs up. These are the six foot big boy hoses, which have 3 8 hose, 3 8 connection on one side, and a quarter inch connection on the other, as you can see here. Six foot long, 3 8 hose, one quarter inch connection, one three eighths connection. Once again, with extra O-rings. And here we can show using it with the four port hose holder. Connecting three eighths to one side, quarter inch to the other. Can now easily be hung up inside of your van, even when fully extended. Keep in mind, because this is an evacuation and recovery hose and not a charging hose, you're not going to have core depressors in either side. So these are designed to be used on ports that have no core depressor only. Otherwise, there'll be no flow through the hose. Next, let's take a look at this Rapid Y, which allows for easy connection of two 3 8 ports onto a single quarter inch port. This has a heavy duty full flow construction through the body of the valve. Now one thing that people will often point out with this sort of design is they'll say, if it goes down a quarter inch, then why does it matter if everything else is 3 8 And the answer is it still does matter because flow is an averaging of the entire diameter of the length. So using larger hoses, even if it does still throttle down to a quarter inch, will still make a significant difference in flow rates. Another quick thing to mention, these come with these nice internal caps it's a good idea to hold on to these to keep your hoses sealed when not in use. Or, as we already mentioned, you can use the hose hanger. Now we're gonna show connecting this to the recovery machine as it would typically be connected. Now there are alternate connection methods such as the push-pull method that can be used in certain applications. This is just the typical method. First, let's connect the rapid Y to the in port on the recovery machine. Next, you're gonna connect your large big boy hoses to the 3 8 ports. Now, as mentioned, these quarter inch connections do not have core depressors in them. So these need to be connected through to a CRT or core removal tool on the system. In most cases in residential, you're gonna connect one hose to liquid and the other hose to suction or vapor on the equipment. This allows you maximum flow pulling from the system. The final step is to use a hose to connect out to your recovery tank. 
Now you're gonna start your machine and you're going to slowly throttle the flow into the tank using your control knob. Once complete, you're gonna purge your hoses and then disconnect from the equipment. This has been a quick unboxing and overview of the new NR7 recovery machine from NAVAC. Find out more by going to navacglobal.com or to a quality local distributor. If you're having a hard time finding it locally, you can go to truetechtools.com and use the offer code GETSCHOOLED for a great discount at checkout. Thanks for watching. If you're willing, give this video a thumbs up and drop us a comment. Don't forget to hit that bell icon to stay updated with all of our future videos. And as a quick reminder, HVAC School isn't just a YouTube channel. Dive deeper with us at our main website, hvacrschool.com. Curious for more knowledge on the go? We've got you covered. Tune into the HVAC School podcast available on all your favorite podcast apps. And while you're at it, join our thriving Facebook group. Also, don't miss out on our free mobile applications available for both iPhone and Android. We're all about community. Vortex by Tex.